I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about improper integrals. Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about section 7.8 on improper integrals. And let's start with problem number seven. In problem number seven, we'd like to evaluate the integral from negative infinity to zero of e to the x dx. All right, <clears throat> so first of all, if you wanna just have a feel for what we're actually doing here, um, here's my x, y axis. e to the x looks something like this. And we're uh, integrating from negative infinity to zero. So we're finding the area in that shaded region. In other words, this tail that goes off to negative infinity. So we'd like to find out how much area is there in that tail. Okay, so uh, uh, we have our integral set up, but this is an improper integral. And what that means is it's not going from a finite point to a finite point. We're integrating all the way out to infinity. So we have to set this thing up as a limit. All right, so I'm gonna rewrite this thing as a limit. Uh, this is equal to the limit. Now, what I'm going to do here is putting negative infinity into an integral isn't technically legal. And so what I do instead is I say, okay, I'm just going to integrate from some point A to zero and then take the limit as A goes to minus infinity. So now this integral is a proper integral, I guess we could say, and it's okay to take this integral from a to zero, and then I'll just let a trail off to negative infinity. So inside I still have e to the x dx, and now I'm ready to integrate. <clears throat> so um, I still have this limit as a goes to minus infinity, and then the antiderivative of e to the x we know is e to the x, and then I'm going to evaluate that from a to zero. All right, I plug things in and I get the limit as a goes to negative infinity of, if I plug in zero here, I get e to the zero, which we know is one, minus e to the a. All right, so I get e to the a. Now what I'd like to do is uh, now that I've got an answer here, there's no more integral, I've plugged things in, just take the limit as a goes to minus infinity of what we've got left. So as a goes to minus infinity, I get e to the minus infinity. Well, e to the minus infinity as the power of e gets very large and very negative, that's a huge number on the bottom of a fraction. So that's going to zero. So this thing is headed to zero. So we're just left with that one. And so our answer here is one. In other words, the area in this infinite tail that we see here all adds up to just one. 